Hi guys, in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use selection filter and display filter in Tecla. You can select the icon at the bottom or use the shortcut Ctrl plus G to open the selection filter. Let me start with display filter. Double click on the model space and select object group from the dialog box popping up. You can always load the predefined filter if needed from the drop down near save button at top left corner. You can also save your settings by giving the filter a name and clicking on save as button. Click on the checkbox for the condition to be applied for filter. Category defines what type of member like bolt or part and so on. And property is further classifies the property of the part like name, class, finish and so on. Condition is to provide certain rules like equal or greater than. The values can be chosen from the drop down. For values, you can type in the values or select the values from the model. You can select from a single object or a multiple object using the drop down. Select object from model in the drop down and click any object from the model to get its values and define the condition of the statement. It is similar to AND and OR gate in a computer coding. Let me define one more statement to explain clearly. For multi object, click on the objects in the model and click on the middle mouse button to get the values of the object. The conditions are executed from top to bottom. Now if I give the condition as blank and click on modify, so beam of 5 and 7 class will be shown rest are hidden. If I uncheck any condition and click on modify, based on the second condition, only the object under class 5 and 7 are visible, rest are hidden. Now if I check all and change the and condition to or, for or conditions any one condition must be true. So objects that are beam or class 5 and 7 will be visible, rest will be hidden. If I change to blank, it is similar to and conditions. I will show you now the different possibilities these filters can be used by just defining the conditions and clicking on the checkboxes. Applying the condition to selection filter is similar to display filter. Shortcut to open selection filter is Ctrl plus G. You can select the checkbox required and specify the condition similar to that we did on display filter. The only difference is that here the objects are not hidden, here you cannot select the objects when you drag the mouse. If you keep the component symbol on, the components are also get selected, so turn off the filter for better filter option. That's it guys, we have seen selection filter and object filter. See you at next session.